on July 5, 1781, the advance of the American army will come close to General Cornwallis, now encamped at Jamestown, near the historic site of Virginia's first settlement. After two months of active campaigning in Virginia, the final blow is going to come on July 6, 1781, at Green Springs Farm near Jamestown, Virginia. Green Springs Farm was the old plantation site of Governor Berkeley of Virginia, and it would be here that General Wayne's advance will lurch forward and encounter the British outposts protecting the British encampment at Jamestown. The advance of the Continental Army, mostly riflemen, some Continentals, are going to push forward into the British outpost. The aggressive attack launched by General Wayne was a result of his own personal aggression towards the British Army and his wish that his soldiers could launch themselves into the British Army and drive them off the field at any encounter. This was General Wayne's confidence in his own men. Another reason why General Wayne was so aggressive as an attack at Greenspring was that a slave had been sent to the American army. This slave was sent with false information that the British army was in retreat across the James River and that only a portion of the British army still remained at Jamestown. From 3 to 5 p.m. on July 6, 1781, the American and British forces, mostly in woods, will fight each other, and as one soldier said, they will knock down some of the British officers. Keep it open. 
At first, the American advance is successful and pushes the British outpost back to the encampment near Jamestown. But unfortunately for General Wayne and the American army and their attack, General Cornwallis, the British commander, had actually laid an ambush. General Cornwallis was a shrewd veteran officer of the British Army. What he had done at Greenspring was lay an ambush for aggressive American fighters. He had concealed most of his army behind a ridgeline. General Cornwallis brought his entire force up, threw them into the fight, and overwhelmed the American army.
General Wayne's plan of battle was very simple. He was to send his advanced force, consisting mostly of riflemen, some continental veterans, in against the outpost of the British soldiers. Once the battle had seemed won, he would send in his reserves and push the British into the river. General Cornwallis was the best the British had. He was an experienced seasoned soldier who had just spent the last several months in the Carolinas fighting it out with General Greene. Upon coming to Virginia, he wished to change the course of the war and bringing any American forces in the state to bear, confront them and defeat them in detail. With many veterans encamped near Jamestown Island, General Cornwallis felt he had the right man in the right place to bring those American troops into a pitched battle. Fire! 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 Fire!
And in this instant, with eight to 900 Continental veterans of Pennsylvania facing thousands of British regulars, General Wayne will not retreat, but order his men to charge. His men with bayonets fixed will move forward against three times their strength, attacking. At this point in the battle, General Wayne has no other option other than to attack. By attacking, he hopes to catch the British Army off guard and possibly save his small force. The Americans feel emboldened. They surge forward, thinking they have a small British force ahead of them. The British soldiers keep retreating, keep falling back. And once near the encampment near Jamestown Island, the British soldiers hold their line. Wait! 
Wallace is going to bring up the remaining half of his army. He's going to deploy them to the left and to the right of his forces. And at this point in the battle, General Wayne doesn't have nearly enough men to cover the front of what is now the battlefield. Pennsylvania line had done all they could. They had stood at 60 yards distance and traded volleys with the British regulars. Now, General Wayne, wishing to bring his men off the field, gave the order to retreat.
cleared. Take aim. Pennsylvania line will reform at Green Springs Farm. General Lafayette had brought the light infantry up and had put them in position at Green Spring and covered the retreat of the Pennsylvanians. To sum up the actions of the day, one can refer to the diary of Lieutenant Ebenezer Denny. The enemy advanced no farther than to the ground we left. We could not have been engaged longer than about three or four minutes, but at the distance of only 60 yards. Our loss is said to be upward of 100 killed and wounded, among the latter 12 officers, one of whom, Lieutenant Herbert, taken prisoner. A few of the wounded not able to get off were also taken. The Continental Army at the Battle of Green Spring will lose 28 men killed and 108 wounded. Though the American Army will suffer these staggering losses, they will be proud of their actions that day. 
and we'll look forward for a chance to meet Cornwallis again. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help us produce more compelling historical content like this, please like, comment below, and share this video with fellow history buffs. And of course, be sure to subscribe to help keep history happening.